you know, people are voting with their feet in terms of what we need to be doing. Speaking to a room of business leaders in Vancouver, BC Conservative leader John Rustad claims NDP leader David Eby has created an affordability crisis that has pushed what he says is a record number of people out of the province. And I get it, because after seven years of our current government, you know, can anybody point to anything and say it's better? Rustad says if he becomes premier, he would push for BC to have more control over who comes into the province through immigration, with more of a focus on matching people's skills to job openings. We actually shouldn't be relying on Ottawa, 3,000 miles away, making those decisions on immigration. Quebec is the only province that has the power to set its own immigration levels, while other provinces are bound by federal mandates. EB has previously called for federal housing funding to be tied to immigration levels to keep up with BC's population growth. He says his government's housing legislation is having an impact. We are the one province in Canada that showed rents coming down instead of going up. BC Green Party leader Sonia Furstenau says her party is the only one focusing on how to lift people out of poverty. We have an inequality problem in this province and it's emerging in our communities, in our downtowns, in our growing homelessness crisis. The tone between the three leaders was more heated during their radio debate on CKNW, particularly over public safety. Rustad doubled down on his statement that he would direct police to ignore certain sections of federal gun laws, which ban handguns and semi-automatic weapons. There are law-abiding gun, gun owners in this province that are being targeted for by, by the federal government, and I disagree with that, and so I will not see our, our precious dollars that are being spent on law enforcement going after law-abiding guns. Instead, I will have them going after the criminals, going after the gangs. I, ju I just find it astonishing that someone who says that public safety is a priority would take that vital tool away from police to enforce federal gun regulations against gangsters in our province. Police are lining up to say it's an it's absurd proposal. He wants to go it after legally, handguns. John, are you legal, hunting deer with handguns? They, he with semi-automatic rifles? Legal, this uh, isn't about hunting. Owners. A former BC police chief and solicitor general is doubtful of Rustad's plan. If he became Premier of British Columbia, he does not have the power to direct the police to disregard a federal statute. Firstenau argues public safety is tied to poverty. The three leaders will square off again in the televised debate on October 8th. Katie DeRosa, CBC News, Victoria.